Hello, my friends, how are you doing? Today, I wanna show you how to get the most out of your photos and even save a ton of money by using Gigapixel AI by Topaz Labs. This is not a paid advertisement. I'm not affiliated with them. This is just something I found out and wanna share with you. Let's get started. My name is Olivio, I'm a professional designer and I wanna thank all of my patrons who support me and make these videos possible. So Gigapixel AI is a software that uses artificial intelligence to enhance your pictures. This can remove noise from your images, but it also can enlarge pictures that have a smaller resolution that are very compressed or just when you need a bigger size. And I want to show you examples here on why this can actually really help you save money and get better pictures even with normal customer grade equipment. So here's an example right away where you can see that from a low resolution picture, look at the face of that bird where you can see that afterwards there's a lot more sharpness, a lot more details, a nicer texture to all of the details in the different like the feathers, the beak, the eye, all these kind of things. So this is actually what Gigapixel can do. And we will look at it in more detail in a second. I just want to show you how simple it is to use the interface because this is also important for me. So on the right side, you can see here, you select the size you want to have. So you want to upscale it two times, four times, six times, whatever feels good to you, whatever you need for your course. Below that, you have AI models that have a clean description, like standard is just a standard image. Lines is for something that has a lot of lines in it, for example, skyscrapers. Then you have art and CG, which for example, is for designs and comic books to get back crisp lines in that. Then you have low resolution, which is really cool when you have a low resolution. And this, I think is the best application of that. And then you have very compressed. This is also nice, especially if you have older pictures, maybe from Flickr or other online pages from your website that you uploaded like 10 years ago and they are small and very compressed. And now you want to bring them back to their old glory. This software can actually help you with that. But here is the thing I want to suggest to you, the trick I want to show you today, because and this I found out with my mother. She travels a lot and she has customer grade equipment. So a normal affordable Canon DSLR and then also a Tamron uh, lens that goes, I think from 15 to 350, also consumer grade, not very expensive. So you can't expect super clean pictures from that. And also you can't zoom in too much into that. It's not a nature tele lens that goes to I don't know, like something like 600 or something like that, you know? And for that, you could buy a teleconverter and we looked at that, but they are pretty expensive, like 300 to $500. And then they half the light that your lens is taking in. So you need more exposure time, you need more ISO, and still the outcome is not great from all the sample pictures we have seen online. So I said, why not have a look at this software? And here are the examples. By the way, I have pre-rendered the examples because this process takes a little bit of time and a lot of uh, computing power. So I want to show you quickly and you don't have to wait like half a minute between each of the examples. So I prepared all of that and you can see here, this is the original picture and you can see that the eagle is further away. But of course, my mother wants to have a nice shot just of the face or just of the detail in there and have it nice and crisp. And of course, with her lens, she can't do that, but she doesn't want to bring a huge lens that also is very expensive. So when you zoom into that, you can see that, of course, the picture is getting blurry. You can see also there is some noise here in the background. We have some chromatic aberration over here on that side. And all in all, the details are not really nice. They are not really there, right? So when you want to do that, when you do this kind of amateur nature photography and want to still crop into that, get good results, this software could actually be really cool for you. So let's have a look at an example here. And you can see here I made a crop and this is again, normal resolution just cropped out in a smaller way. So you can see right now, it is just a bird with this frozen fish down here. And here, let's move this over here for a second. I will zoom into that. So we see just the head. This is what Gigapixel AI has improved. So let's bring this close 
to the other window like so. And when you look at that, and you look at the details, you can still see that there is nice improvements. Like look, for example, at the sharpness of the eye around here. Look at the feathers here. Here they are mushy and unsharp. There's a lot of chromatic aberration on these edges too. Over here, nice details, a lot sharper, less chromatic aberration. Also in the background, when you look at that, the noise that you have up here, the noise that you have over here is practically gone in this improved version here. Also, when you look at the beak, very nice, sharp, nice details. You can feel the leathery details up here and then the horn here in the front. You feel it a lot more than over here where everything looks like it's the same and it's kind of unsharp. So there is already a lot of improvement. But here is the trick, especially if you do this a lot, because what I have done is that I have downscaled that. And this might surprise you. So you can see here that the original export of the crop is 3093 pixels in width. And then I exported it with 1280. So a lot less than the original resolution. Now let's look at the result that Gigapixel has created from that. And you can see that this is actually also very good. It takes less time, it takes less computing power, it is almost the same as from the higher resolution, which is kind of surprising, but this is a really nice trick, especially if you do this often, if you want to go through a lot of pictures, if you have a smaller resolution and then blow it up to the original resolution, this helps a lot. Again, you can see here on the right side that it did even a better job removing the chromatic aberration, bringing out the details in the feathers here. Even there are some details here in the eye, which is very surprising that this has happened. So really amazing. And let's compare the results from Gigapixel from the smaller version to the larger version. So. On the right side now, we have the result that Gigapixel has created from the original resolution. And on the right side, we have the one that Gigapixel has created from the lower resolution. Now, again, like I said, it takes less time to calculate, less power to calculate. And also you get a smaller file afterwards because you don't have to blow it up to a huge pixel resolution. It's low resolution and then gets back to a standard resolution, but with much nicer detail. So I was really, really impressed with that. Now here's the interesting thing. You can also use this in other cases. For example, here we have another image where there is a lot of blur in there. It doesn't look very nice. There's even more chromatic aberration. You can see how everything is blurred because with these lenses, with the light situation, it's pretty hard to get a good shot, especially when the birds are far away. And this is even cropped into the image too. Look at the snowflakes we have over here. And you can see everything is kind of mushy and unsharp and not so great to look at. Now let's look again at what Gigapixel has created from that. So this is the rendered version version after that. And look at how amazing that is. Look here at the neck. Um, there is just blur here on the left side. On the right side, you see individual feathers sticking out. I have no idea how the software is doing that. Look at the nice details here at the neck. Also how crisp and sharp now the beak is and the hat and everything. Look at how much chromatic aberration and blur is over here. And then here, a lot of the chromatic aberration has vanished. It looks a lot better. So also look down here at these feathers at the two pictures. So you can see here the snowflakes, as I pointed out before, and the feathers, everything is blurry. Everything flows together, doesn't look nice. Now on the right side, you can see here, you have nice crisp feathers where you see individual like little strains of the feather and even the snowflakes stand out a lot more. Of course, I'm admitting that this is not a super sharp image and the result is not super sharp either, but considering that this has been cropped out of a larger image. So this is a small detail from a low resolution picture with a consumer grade camera in not the greatest light conditions. The result from that is pretty impressive. And at the same time, like I said, you save a lot of money by doing it that way rather than getting this kind of converter or even a $2,000 lens with a 700 millimeter focal length. That's a lot of money uh, and a lot of weight to carry around. So yeah, that's pretty cool. 
I want to show you a last example for that where this is also impressive and in this time it's also surprising from the result. So here we have this image of a flower and again I downscaled that. I also want to show you the original resolution real quick. So this is the original resolution and now this is very surprising. Here is the result from the high resolution image. Kind of nice, not too bad. Let's move this over here. Here now is the result from the low resolution image. And this is really surprising. You can see here that the details actually look better. When you look at the hairs over here on the tip of the flower, over here they look a bit nice, a bit crisper. Also when you look at the details inside of the flower here, it looks a lot nicer on the low resolution result that Gigapixel has created. And again, the low resolution result is faster and creates a smaller file afterwards when we look at the file sizes here so you can see here that from the low resolution you get a file that is 2560 pixels in width and from the large resolution upscale you get one that is 12,000 pixels in width but it doesn't look that much better so with all these tricks together I think you can get really a lot out of your images especially when you crop into them or when you want to save on expensive gear to have these kind of telephotos this can really work magic for you. That's it for today. Let me know in the comments if you use Gigapixels and if you have used it in that way before. Also, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like because that helps my channel so much. And if you want to see more like that, subscribe, hit the bell button so you get notified and see you in my next tutorial. Bye.